Aloha, people. Okay, straight to snake diet business. Um, yesterday I was 184.7. And this morning I got up and I was 185.4. Yeah. So, first thing this morning, you know, I do my normal thing. I get cleaned up. I had my uh, appointment this morning, so I knew I wasn't going to walk. But I started getting cleaned up, weighed myself, and already, which is abnormal for me. I felt like I need to poop. I was like, okay. Kind of makes sense because it's been a couple of days. Honestly, I don't remember how many days. It's been a minute though. So I was like, oh, okay. Um, so I took my dog out, came back, tried to go. And I feel, felt like I had to go, but I couldn't go. I'm like, oh, hell no. <laughs> Please, God. So. Uh, because of Mr. Hemorrhoid, I didn't want to force things, so I didn't force it, you know, I went about doing some other things and figured I'd try again in a little bit, and I did. I, at this point, I'm pretty much knowing I'm constipated, but... I'm thinking, oh, shit, I'm constipated. You know, I have a few tools in my toolbox for that. So, I used one of my tools and, and I mean, the nutshell version without, I'm not going to go into detail. I will talk about what happened, but I, won't, I will spare you guys the details. <laughs> But I wasn't just constipated. I was impacted. I'm like, Lord, I don't want to have to go to the doctor <laughs> for him to manually unimpact me. So I tried a few things. I was freaking out because now I'm dealing with this and I need to get on, you know, get ready and I got an appointment to get to. So that's stressing me out even more. Um, so again, without giving details, it's not it's not necessary, but I was able to unimpact myself. And I mean, All right, well, we'll just put it this way. When I weighed in this morning, I was 185, like, I think it was 185.4. And then after the big ordeal, I weighed again, and you can see I was 183.5. So that tells you, without me having to be graphic, how bad it was. So, the silver lining is Mr. Hemroy didn't get angry, which is a freaking miracle. Um, so, for the month of April, which starts May, uh, Monday, I'm going to switch up. I don't know if it's the routine I'm doing, you know, dry fasting all day and then eating a meal at night, or my digestive system is slowing down. I don't know. But that's no bueno. 
<laughs> no. So, starting Monday, I'm going to go back to snake juice. Snake juice only, Monday through Fridays, and then one meal a day, Saturday and Sunday. I'll give that a try for April. Um, yeah. Yeah. <laughs> Luckily, I could get past the ordeal in time to get to my appointment. Get to my appointment. And they tell me, oh, unfortunately, our mammogram machine is broke. We're having to reschedule everybody. Well, when did it break? Two minutes ago? How long has it been broke? Y'all couldn't call me yesterday and say, hey, it's broke. Can we reschedule? No. Let's just wait till everybody goes out of their way and inconvenience them and reschedule them when they get here. Yes, I'm a little perturbed. So left there and I was going to go to the store after leaving there um, to get a couple more things. I was going to get some ground beef and um, woo, I was so again with the emotions of what happened this morning and then getting over there for my appointment and them telling me you know we can't see you today and we got to reschedule you and do they reschedule me for two or three days from now fuck no i gotta wait two more weeks which i don't get and yes as you can see i'm perturbed pissed off whatever you want to call it because it's like whatever's going on whatever they saw in the mammogram yes it could be nothing it could be a cyst it, it could be nothing but we don't know until they do this next test, we don't know. Is it nothing? Is it something? So here you got a patient that you're telling, oh, we saw something. So we got to go and uh, do another test to see what it is. You know they're already going to be freaking out a little bit. Number one, I would just would think they would try to get it done quicker instead of letting you suffer I know that's a over dramatic word but suffer for weeks because I've already been waiting suffering <laughs> for three weeks now their things broke and I can't get back in there for two more weeks I just think that's not I think that's not acceptable so three four five so when all is said and done, I will have waited five weeks to see what the fuck is going on, right? So that's number one. You know your patient's probably freaking out, so all these weeks you make them wait. They're freaking out for all that time. And number two, could be nothing, but could be something. And for sake of argument, let's say it's something. So while it's there doing whatever it does, getting worse or whatever... while the patient's waiting for their appointment. That's taking weeks. That's not good. That's just not good. I don't know what can be done about it. I don't I don't know. It's just something I'm gonna think on because I don't think that's okay. That's just not okay. I mean at the point that you see something on the mammogram and you gotta tell that patient we saw something, we wanna go in and do another test and look at it and see that that appointment to do the second test should be within a, a day a couple of days two three days you know not fucking weeks <sighs> rant over so as you can see I'm emotional just because of how my whole day's been so far so, so I go to the store to just get a couple of things. I'm emotional, and I'm like, oh, fuck it. You know, Monday, we're going to start a new routine. Just 
fucking eat your emotions for the weekend. That's, that's fucking devil talking to me. My emotions. So I'm walking through Walmart going, yeah, I think I'm going to get this. I'm going to get that. And then the angel's going, no, fuck that. Cut it out, you know? Don't fuck up all your shit just because you're feeling a certain way right now. You're pissed off or whatever. Keep going. Keep walking. And I did that all through Walmart. And I fought it. The only thing I got that was <laughs> cheating, <laughs> I got myself two apples because, you know, I'm trying to figure out, you know, how can I keep myself from that happening again? And I know once I start back strictly snake juice, it probably won't be an issue. But it's like apples are one of the best things. Apples and prunes are like one of the best things to keep you regular. So, got me a couple of apples. X'd out the chips. X'd out all that shit that was going through my head that I was like, oh, just, just get it, what the fuck trying to feed my emotions, right? But I fought it. I fed my emotions with two apples. And I'm okay with that. <sighs> Keto sticks still looking really good. Um, yeah. <laughs> so, Um, that's what I'm going to do starting Monday, that new routine. Uh, I'd, I'd always grown up hearing, if you eat too much meat, it could constipate you. And because I'm eating a lot of meat, but like if, okay, you see the picture of my refeed last night. And I had sausage, and but I did incorporate some veggies you know I took like uh, just a, a half of a zucchini and half of a yellow squash and just cubed them up and sauteed them with that sausage because I guess somewhere in my brain I keep telling myself you know veggies are fiber you need fiber I don't know I don't know I don't know because I, I don't want to like bring in that old school thinking you know because I do have some of that still rattling around my brain and then I got all the snake diet Cole Robinson stuff rattling around and they're both fighting the information is contradictory to each other so it's like okay <sighs> but anyway <laughs> so um, I did I think what I'm going to have uh, I bought stuff to make a chili and that was another thing I had to fight was I was just going to make chili just good old fashioned chili and then I was like no beans are really carby so I looked at the beans and looked at the, th the label and yes, they're really carby and so I was like, all right, fuck it, I won't put the beans, I'll just make like normal chili, hamburger meat, and you, plus, you know, chili, you put tomato sauce and tomato sauce has got carb. Um, so I figured, well can't just put the hamburger meat so I'm just again gonna chop up some of that zucchini and squash 
throw it in with the hamburger meat and just that's what I'll use to bulk up the chili but I'll make it like normal it's just instead of beans I'm using some vegetables <sighs> part of me scared to eat now <laughs> but anyways that's what I'm gonna be doing some chili and That's it. So, I really don't have, uh, there was something else I was going to talk about, but I'm not in the mood now. I'm not in the mood. I just want to go, you know, and, and and of course, I, because I had to go to that appointment that got canceled, you know, I couldn't get my walk in, couldn't get to the gym. So, even though it got canceled, you know, I, I guess technically I could have come home and got the walk in, went to the gym, and but as I spoke of yesterday, I don't like to be thrown off my <laughs> routine. So for me, it was better just to come home. I had some laundry I needed to do. That's what I'm doing now. So for me, what works better for me, because I don't like being thrown off my routine, is to now, even though I don't walk the weekends, I'll make up today's missed workout tomorrow morning on Saturday get my walk done and I'll go down to the gym and get my workout in that I should have got today yeah so that's my game plan um, but 183.5 that's that's the good news for today I guess all right you guys um, I'm gonna get off here and go check my laundry and I will see you guys tomorrow. Um, keep fasting. Stay strong. Hang tough. And keep on snaking. See you guys tomorrow. Mahalo.